In this video, we will discuss amplitude related operations that could be performed on signals. Earlier, we discussed the operation that can be performed on signals like amplitude related uh, like uh, scaling, uh, addition, subtraction and multiplication, time related as uh, shifting, scaling and reversal. Now, in this class, we will do all amplitude related operations for a signal. So, here first I want to deal with amplitude scaling. So, here scaling that is also amplitude scaling if I want to perform then the equation for amplitude scaling that means scaled version of signal I am considering like y of t is equivalent to c into x of t where c is the scaling factor. For example, I am considering an example like uh, if your x of t or given signal x of t is equal to some 4 cos t this is your signal. If this is your signal if you ask it to scale by 2 or y of t equal to 2 x of t they given that is nothing but amplitude scaling. If they given what is the value of 2 into uh, x of t that means y of t. So, what is the value of y of t? If it is equal to 2 into x of t they are asking. If this is equal to 2 into x of t means this is nothing but uh, amplitude scaling. So, this is equal to 2 into we know the value of x of t you just replace here. So, cos t you are going to get 8 cos t. So, this is uh, uh, amplitude scaled version of the signal actual signal is 4 cos t amplitude scaled version of that signal is 8 cos t. So, here second operation we can perform on this signals is addition. So, here addition if you want to form, perform. So, I want to consider a signal. So, I want to consider a diagrammatic representation. So, here I want to consider a signal x of t if you want to do addition or subtraction or multiplication definitely you need to consider two signals. So, between two signals only you can perform addition, subtraction or multiplication more than two signals you need to consider two or more you need to consider. So, here I am considering a signal like this this is x of t. So, next I am considering another signal. So, like this like this. So, now so this is from 2 to minus 2 to plus 2 and this is from minus 3 to 3. So, I consider two signals. Now, we will see what is the addition result, what is the subtraction result, what is the multiplication result of these two signals. For example, if I want to consider any addition, so then corresponding amplitudes are going to add. Here I am having 2 amplitude, here I am having 3 amplitude. So, now you can see if you want to add these two signal, I am just extending this line, I want to take the reference here. So, here minus 2 to 2 you are having 2 signals, but minus 3 to minus 2 you are having only x2 of t. So, this is I am considering like x1 of t and here I am considering this as x2 of t. So, now addition result you need to draw. Addition means you need to add the two signals or corresponding amplitudes of two signals. Addition means it comes under amplitude operations. So, here minus 3 to minus 2 you are having only this signal with amplitude 3. So, see here I am drawing that. So, 3 here up to here I am having so 3 as amplitude. So, I am making this as 3 as reference. Now, from minus 2 to plus 2 you are having this signal as well as this signal. So, when two signals are there then you need to add the amplitudes corresponding amplitudes that means 3 plus 2 will take place you are going to get 5. So, totally the amplitude will become 5 that means it will come like this. So, now from minus 2 to 2 your amplitude must be 5. So, this is maximum amplitude noticed by this addition. So, after 2 to 3 again you are having your second signal. So, amplitude you will get as so whatever 3 
plus 0 is there. So, you are getting same 3 as amplitude. This is your resultant signal by the addition of these two signals. For example, if you are given with subtraction, then how we will uh, do that subtraction? You can see here, I want to subtract these two signals. Then I am going to consider minus 3, minus 2, 0, 2, 3. So, this is the axis we are having. Now, here minus 2 to 2 you are having your signal and minus 3 to 3 you are having another signal. Now you can see. So, 0 minus some value we need to subtract. Then what happens? It will turns to minus. Here you are having a value but from minus 3 to minus 2 here you are having 0. Simply 0 you are having. That means 0 minus anything so, you are going to get minus version of that. Minus version of that means you are going to get, so minus 3, actually here up to here you are having 3 amplitude, 0 minus 3 will take place. So, that means minus 3 will come. So, minus 3 means, so minus 3 to, from here to minus 3 to minus 2, so you will get like this. Next, from minus 2 to 2, here you are having 2, but here you are having 3. So, 2 minus 3 will take place from minus 2 to 2 in this region. 2 minus 3 will take place. The value is reduced to minus 1. Initially, this is minus 3 here and here this is reduced to minus 1 from minus 2 to 2. That means, so you will get like this. So, with minus 1 amplitude, you are having from minus 2 to 2. So, 2 minus 3, you are having minus 1. And from minus uh, plus 2 to 3, again you are having 0 here and you are having 3 here. 3 means whatever amplitude indicating here, that is nothing but the value of the signal at particular time. So, here you are having 3 from here to here, but here you are not having from 2 to 3. So, 0 minus 3 will take place. So, the amplitude of the signal will decrease to minus 3. So, again it will come like this and up to 3 the signal will be like this. This is the resultant signal for a x1 of t minus x2 of t. For example, if you are doing x2 of t minus x1 of t, if you are uh, doing reverse operation, then how we can say, so here for example, uh, from minus 3 to minus 2, here we are having 3, but here you are having 0. So, you can notice 3 here. So, here you can notice 3 up to minus 2. So, from minus 2 to 2, both are having signal value, then 3 minus 2 will take place, then 3 minus 2 means it is equivalent to 1. 1 means, so I am considering here, if this is 3, I am considering 1 here. So, from minus 2 to 2, 3 minus 2 means 1 will take place. So, 1 will come. So, up to 2 I mentioned like 1. From 2 to 3, you are not having any value here and you are having value here. As we are doing x2 minus x1, 3 minus 0 will take place. Again, you are going to get 3 here. So, this is the subtraction result. This is the subtraction result. This is the addition result. So, this is subtraction of first, first signal from second signal. That means, x2 of t minus x1 of t. Then, finally, we are going for multiplication result. What is the operation of multiplication? If you done multiplication of 1 with 2 or 2 with 1, you are going to get the same. So, here, if you want to multiply, just follow general multiplication rules. Here, minus 3 to minus 2, you are having something here. But here, we are having 0. If 0 is multiplied with anything, total part is going to vanish. Total signal will become 0. That means, minus 3 to minus 2, we are not having any signal. So, here you can see, I am indicating minus 3, minus 2, 0, 2, 3. So, minus 3 to minus 2, I am indicating with 0 baseline. So, minus 3 to minus 2, we are uh, multiplying some 3 amplitude with a 0 amplitude. So, your resultant amplitude will become 0 and coming to minus 2 to 2, you are having 
signal in both x1 and x2. So here the corresponding amplitudes are going to multiply. The corresponding amplitude means here in x2 we are having 3 and x1 we are having uh, 2. So 3 to 6. 6 is the amplitude corresponding amplitude resultant amplitude of these, uh, these signals multiplications. So here from minus 2 to 2 you need to consider amplitude as 6. So 6 is the corresponding amplitude of these two signals. So after 2 to 3, after 2 up to 3, you are having 0 amplitude here and 3 amplitude here. Again 0 into 3 will become 0. So that means from 2 to 3, you can just draw a 0 line. So now these are the operations related to amplitude. Amplitude scaling, amplitude addition, amplitude subtraction and amplitude multiplication. So based on these operations we are going to do some problems in future.